Hey guys! Before we start with the video, I hope you had a great start into the new year. And I would love to announce that I would like to start a little coaching series with you guys. Which means that you can send me a video of you playing and I will analyze it. So if you want to participate and have a chance to be analyzed for me, you just need to subscribe to be ranked wood or stone. And the way you send me the video file is through transferxl.com. You don't even need to be registered, you just press add files, select the file you want to send me. Note that the file cannot be more than 5 gigabytes big. It should be named by your YouTube name followed by the glory points you have in game. And send it to ironmonkey at gmail.com. The message you can leave me is a nice little hi or things you want me to focus on or you have problems with. And that's it! I hope you liked that idea, and let's get on with the video. So if I want to create or improve my strategies, I just open a private match, FFA against bots. And the reason I do a FFA lobby is because if I do a 2v2 body or something like that with bots, it's uh, kind of weird because the bots are gonna feast all the time. And the reason I'm playing against bots and not real players is because if something goes wrong, I just can reset the game and make it uh, better in the next game. This way you will save time and you will not lose all the time because you're experimenting around. But what you gonna do here? Well, before you do anything, you need to exactly know what your strategy is gonna be. In this video, for example, I wanted to test how fast I can get Thane without occupying any spawn tiles, nor scouting the middle. This is why I built my ship and skilled erudition at the same time, so I can scale more things in the lottery, because scaling things in the lottery gives you 15 fame. Note that I feasted after the winter so that I can push my lore even more, and then I took another tile to get 20 additional fame. But then I was stuck at 195 fame, and that's when I realized I should have feasted after the first feast again, and only after that I should have taken the tile. Which means that I could have been uh, Thane end of April. And that's when I left the game and created a new lobby to test uh, what I discovered. Another example would be when I tested uh, how fast I could win with boar with lore. And midway I realized that I could not recruit a war chief because I did not have enough money. And that's because I uh, skilled bartering in the lottery and built a trading post instead of a ship and shipbuilding in the lottery. This way I knew I should build one less of the lore stones so that I can uh, put two villages into the ship. Or in this one I wanted to try to rush with Raven before the second winter, but I couldn't do that because I was mining too much iron and with the iron I wanted to upgrade my warriors as well. So I spent too much time doing that and that's when I knew I should have not d done all these things and instead just mined 5 iron and not have upgraded anything. This way I would have saved a lot of time and money. Okay, long story short. If you have a goal like having uh, 9 warriors and a war chief before the second winter, which means that you need 510 gold, and you don't have it, you need to look where you can do things less of before that. And that can be small things like building one more food resource building so you, you can feast one more time, or sending a villager earlier to a lore zone so that you can skill something in the lore tree a little bit earlier, which allows you to have more money later in the game. And that's it! I hope you learned something new and have a good one!